Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. In today's video, I'll show and demonstrate my 15 favorite and most used keyboard shortcuts. If you're new to my channel, make sure to check out my full Final Cut Pro tutorial series. If you find these videos helpful, please like, share and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. New videos released every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. So let's get started. First one is the I and O keys. These are used in the browser to select parts of the clips you want to use in your project. Skim over the clip and press the I to set the in or the start point of your clip and press O to set the out or the end point of your clip. Number two is the Q, W and E keys. These are used to connect, insert and append edit clips from your browser to the timeline. Q to connect edit, W to insert edit and E to append edit to the end of your timeline. Number three is command and minus sign or command and equal sign. These are used to zoom out and zoom in on your timeline respectively. I prefer using these shortcuts to using the timeline zoom slider. Tying in with number three is number four. Shift Z is used to zoom to fit your timeline. Pressing Shift Z will zoom in or out on your timeline and resize your project to fit your window. This is a great tool to see an overview of your project. Number five is control and minus or control and equal sign used to adjust the volume of selected clips. Control and minus sign turns down and control and equal sign turns up the volume by one decibel. Much easier and more precise than using the volume adjust line. Number six is the M key. Pressing M will place a marker on the selected clip. Double pressing M will set a marker and open the marker window where you can name and select the type of marker. Number seven is command B. This shortcut will blade or separate your clip into two independent clips. Much quicker than selecting the blade tool and clicking on the spot in your timeline you want bladed. Number eight is a universal command C and command V shortcuts used to copy and paste your selection. Command C will copy your selected clip and command V will paste the copy clip at wherever your skimmer is located. Number nine is option and left or right bracket key. Option left bracket key will trim the start of the selected clip to the skimmer and option right bracket key will trim the end of the selected clip to your skimmer. Number 10 is shift X. This is to perform an extend or retract edit. With the start or end point of a clip selected, pressing shift X will either extend or retract the clip to the skimmer. Number 11 is the comma and period keys. With the start or end of a clip selected, pressing comma or period key will add or subtract one frame from the selected clip. Comma moves left and period key moves right. Number 12 is used when working above the storyline. With one or more clips selected, pressing command G will create a connected storyline in which your clips will have magnetic properties just like in the primary timeline. Number 13 is option F and adds a three second freeze frame of the frame your skimmer is over. This works great if you need to pause the action in your video. Number 14 is command R and it opens up the retime menu of the selected clip. From here you can speed up or slow down your clip. And last but not least, number 15, another universal keyboard shortcut is command Z. Pressing Command Z will undo your last action. You can use the undo function an unlimited number of times and can reverse all your edits right to the start of your session. Note, after quitting and restarting Final Cut Pro, you will not be able to undo anything from your previous session. So these are my 15 most used keyboard shortcuts. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite keyboard shortcuts are, be they from my top 15 list or a different keyboard shortcut I didn't mention. As always, if you found this helpful, hit the like button and share this video to help me reach more people. And don't forget to subscribe, new videos every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.